Welcome to the Windows Club. Device drivers are the connections between the hardware and the software in a system. But if they go corrupt, you may need to consider certain steps to fix the situation. This could mean either uninstalling or disabling the drivers or rolling them back to a previous version or maybe updating them. So let's understand how we could do all of these. Press Windows plus R to open the run window. Type the command devmgmt.msc and hit enter to open the device manager. Let me try all these procedures with the Bluetooth drivers because they are the safest right now. Right click on the concerned driver, the Bluetooth driver or any driver in your case. Then the options are available here but instead let's click on properties and go to the driver tab. Now a better approach to the options is mentioned in this tab. You can uninstall the device. This deletes the driver but temporarily it saves a copy in the system and when you restart reboot the system then the original copy gets reinstalled just in case there was a corruption with the copy of the driver, you can reinstall it. The second option is to disable the device and in this case it remains disabled till you manually enable it again. Now if you wish to update the driver, simply click on this option and then you get two options, either update it automatically or manually. So if you have downloaded a copy of the driver from the manufacturer's website or you just uh, have it from Intel, in that case you can browse it and upload it using this option or if you don't want to do that, simply search for it automatically. Then comes the option to roll back a driver and it would remain grayed out unless you actually updated the driver to a newer version. Rolling back a driver means that if the current version of the driver does not work and that is the latest version available on the manufacturer's website, so you wouldn't have much of options. But to roll back the driver to a previously known stable version of the driver which you knew worked well. And this is what you follow when a certain device is working fine for a very long time and updating windows or updating the driver messes up that hardware device. So you can try this option. If you still have any doubts, go to the original article on the Windows Club, the link to which has been shared in the description section. Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Oh,